Alright, today we are going to be adding and subtracting some polynomials. So I have three steps for you when we're adding and subtracting polynomials. First step, write the polynomial in standard form. We previously we learned that in a previous lesson, so that should be should come naturally to you. If not, look back over your notes or look at look at my video about polynomials. Second thing, step two. Align the term in columns. So what we're going to be doing in this is kind of similar to uh, the, the lessons about systems of linear equations. I'll show you an example what I mean by this. And then step three, we combine. So please write down these three things. These are the main points. So we have, uh, it looks like we have an addition problem. So now we're going to be working with addition for the first thing. So we have two x the quantity of two x squared plus five x plus seven, uh, plus the quantity of three minus four x squared plus six x. Now, step one, we need to write everything in standard form. So I'm going to write everything a little bit uh, below here. So we have the first one. We have uh, if we have two x squared plus five x plus seven, looks like that is already in standard form. So I'm just going to write that down. We have two x squared plus 5x plus 7. All right, this one, standard form. It looks like we, I'm going to do this a little bit. I'm going to combine step 1 and step 2. So standard form for this one should be negative uh, 4x squared plus 6 plus 3. So this, remember this is a plus sign. And then we have negative 4x squared and then it's plus 6x plus 3. So with this, are they, these both are in standard form. These both are lined up because we have the x squares lined up, we have the x's lined up, and we have the constants lined up. Next step, combine them all. So when we combine these, what is, basically, what is 2 plus a negative 4? That is equal to a negative 2, and then just bring down the x squared, so negative 2x squared plus 5x plus 6x is 11x, and 7 plus 3 is 10, so this is our final answer. Nothing can be combined because we have an x squared, we have an x, and we have a constant. Those can't be combined, so this is our final answer. So what I want you to do, I want you to pause the video, try this one, uh, try this one and unpause the video when you're ready to see what I have done. Okay, so if we have the quantity of 3n cubed minus 5n plus n squared plus the quantity of negative 8n squared plus 3n cubed. First part, line everything up in standard form. So this is not in standard form, so let's line it up. Uh, looks like it'd be 3n cubed plus n squared minus 5n. All right, the next one, remember this is, we are adding these. And the next one, standard form in this, this needs to be switched around, but I'm going to line it up at the same time. So it looks like we need a 3n cubed. This will be minus an 8n squared, and there's nothing else. So if we add these together, so 3n cubed plus 3n cubed, that equals 6n cubed. Now remember this is a 1, so 1n squared uh, minus 8n squared, basically just look at the coefficients, so 1 minus 8, that would be minus 7n squared. And since there's nothing else that goes along with this, we just bring it straight down. So that's minus 5n. And this is our final answer. All right, so now we're going to be doing some subtracting. Uh, let's look like we have the quantity of 7p plus 4p cubed minus 8 minus the quantity of 3p squared plus 2 minus 9p. So now the first thing we need to do, 
write this in standard form. If you notice, uh, we have the standard form would be p cubed, then p, then the constant. Um, but what I actually just want to want you to realize, um, in this second equation, in the second quantity, there's a p squared here. So when we line it up, there isn't going to be a p squared for this first one to line up at. So I'm just going to leave a little gap when I write this out. So we have 4p cubed plus, I'm just going to leave a little gap just because of the p squared that is going to go right here. It's going to be plus uh, 7p and minus 8. So then remember it's subtraction. So now we have 3p squared minus 9p plus 2. Alright, so when we combine these, remember that this is basically, so when you're subtracting things, remember you can add the opposite. So what I like to do, change this subtraction sign into an addition sign and basically make everything else the opposite. So this is this positive 3p squared is going to be a negative. This minus 9p is going to be plus. And this is going to be changed into a minus 2. So then we combine from there. We have 4p cubed minus 3p squared Now we have a positive 7p plus 9p, which is 16p. Then a negative, then a minus 8. So think of it as negative 8 plus a negative 2. Would be a negative 10, and this would be our final answer. So remember, when it's anything with subtraction, just basically add the opposite. Basically just add and then change every sign that goes along with it. So what I want you to do, I want you to pause the video. Try this one up here. It's the subtraction one. Pause the video, unpause it when you're ready to see what I have done. Okay, so if we have uh, the quantity of 4 plus 2a squared minus 2a minus the quantity of... 3a squared minus 8a plus 7. Remember, we have our steps over here. So the first thing I'm going to do is just write them all in standard form. So we have 2a squared minus 2a plus 4. This is minus. Now we have, it looks like this basically is already in standard form. So we have 3a squared minus 8a plus 7. Alright, remember we have subtraction, so you can just add the opposite. So add, that's going to be a negative uh, 3a squared. Instead of a minus 8a, we're going to make that a plus 8a. Instead of a plus 7, we're going to make this a minus 7. Now, last step, combine. 2 plus a negative 3 is a negative 1a squared. Negative 2 plus 8 is a plus 6a. And then a positive 4 minus 7 is equal to a negative 3. And this is our final answer. Just time for a quick review. Remember, this is basically like we, we, when we're solving for systems of equations. Step one, line them up in standard form. Step two, just line them up vertically. And then step three, combine it. If you're dealing with subtraction, remember to always add the opposite. Uh, if it's a plus something, then just, or if it's a, yeah, if it's plus something, make it a subtraction sign. If it's a subtraction, make it a plus sign. Um, but remember to look in the comments section of the video. Um, I have a couple more videos just in case you need a little bit more help. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.